Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sunshine Living, and I'm back with another unboxing video. There's a lot here. Okay, so I was not planning for this unboxing thing to be like a two-part, because I had an unboxing video before this that you should go check out, but I ordered more off Amazon. Three things off Amazon, and then I was like, I want to show you guys, so I'll just make a part two, and then today I went to Target and got some stuff. So, you know, now now we're all ready for a lot of unboxing. So I'm going to do it Amazon and then Target. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and smash the notification button so you don't miss any more of my crazy unboxing videos. Okay, so last time I got this e.l.f. Squeeze Me Lip Balm. And I have ordered two more. Now this one is honeydew. And then we have peach and vanilla frosting. The reason I got this one is because I wanted to put it in my locker. So, you know, I'm mostly excited about the peach. So we're going to start with vanilla. I absolutely love these much. It's such like a classic color. And it's just like not super like, oh my gosh, I'm here. So I got one for my mom as well, and she said that they, she didn't love the smelling, and I knew this was going to be more of a sweet smell, so. Oh, it's a very sweet smell. It smells like, it smells like a, uh, it smells like a classic lip balm. I, that kind of like kind of burnt candy smell. Definitely not my favorite smell. But I, I love these too much to care. Okay, and then let's unbox the peach one, which I have very high hopes for. Also, it looks a lot brighter in the camera than it is in real life. Just to let you guys know. Okay, we're opening it up. I love the color of this one. I know it looks super bright on camera, but it's not that bright. I don't know if we want this vanilla frosting. Scared. Okay. Oh, I love that. Um. Yeah. Uh huh. This is this is amazing. Uh huh. This smells like summer. It smells exactly like peaches. It smells so good. Every time I put this on, I'm gonna be like, I want the Chick Fil A peach milkshake. I'm literally just missing two now, grape and strawberry. And then the last thing I got from Amazon was a new e.l.f. lip oil for my locker, because I always keep lip oils in my locker, and I ran out of my ColourPop one. So this is Pink Quartz, and I'm obsessed with the packaging. It's so, such a bright pink. This is Coral, for comparison. They're definitely really different. I love how this looks. And if you guys want to see one unboxed, I have an unboxing of this one and me trying it as well. So you can guys check those videos out. Actually, we'll link this here to compare. Okay, let's open it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. They're so different, like it kind of bothers me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. It's like the camera. Oh my gosh. I can't close it. The camera is not doing this justice because this is so freaking pretty compared to the coral, which is absolutely beautiful. But oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off this pink, and I know you guys can't see it on. I apologize. So I wiped off the peach lip balm, and now we're going to try the pink quartz lip oil. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going to go look in the mirror. I just, I, I love these so much. And this is 
so pretty. This is definitely my summer collection, and if I happen to see the clear one out, I will get them because I feel like them lined up together would be so pretty. And if you are looking for one of these shades, expect them to be like sold out everywhere because it is summer and nobody's gonna want the dark shades anymore because it's it's summertime. Okay, now Target. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna open from Target is the biggest, and this is the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I will be doing research on this before I use this, just to make sure that it's safe for my skin. But if the research goes smoothly and it's fine for my skin, then I will insert a clip of me using it tonight. But I don't want to use anything that's like could harm my skin because that's not worth it being cool. So it comes with this little applicator. And then this is what it looks like inside. I wanted to try a makeup melting balm for very long time now it smells exactly like their moisturizer the holy hydration moisturizer me and my mom both use it she uses a gel one um this one's i use this one but i have been wanting to get her the eye cream maybe for mother's day oh my gosh i love this so much though and it's i really hope that this is safe for my skin because your girl wants to use it so bad because I've always wanted to try a makeup melting balm. Okay, this is like kind of the lamest thing I got, but it's I know it's not lame, but I I'm not I'm not really I'm not gonna be opening this because I I, I use this blush. This is the best blush ever ever. I really wish I would have gotten the Halo Go highlighter because I wanted to try that out, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, this is literally the best blush ever, so I needed to get a refill on it because I'm almost out of mine. Next, this was a very, like, uh, let's do it. This are the newest e.l.f. blushes. They're liquid blushes. They're the camo blushes, and I've kind of been wanting to try one more when I found out they're a dupe for the Rare Beauty blush. And tell me that the boxes, I feel like elf boxes, like you guys, very similar. But I, I got this in uh, this shade. It might be too dark on my skin because I have such light skin tone. So, you know, but it's okay. If not, look at, well, well, my mom doesn't even use blush. A lot of these. This is high pigmented. So, um, a little is going to go a long way. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. But we have to go try it on in the mirror. Welcome to my little makeup station. So right now, oh, my mascara is smudged. Um, right now, I am wearing blush. We're just going to do this over the blush that I'm wearing. Because I'm really excited. I don't want to use a lot because I know. This could also be like way too dark for me. Oh my gosh, okay, we're just gonna use a little over. It looks super dark, guys. And I'm scared this is gonna be way too dark. I've never used a rare beauty. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm actually kinda eating this up because this is actually, it's coming off more pink. Is this a blush stain? Guys, I swear if this is a blush stain. I mean, this is just liquid blush, right? I I'm starting to be scared. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's not a blush stain. I just really don't want to use any of the blush stains or anything that could be harmful to my skin. No, because, oh my gosh. It is very pigmented. But I actually don't think it looks half bad on me. I just think it is very pigmented and uh whoa I but it is a nice a very nice blush it's more of a winter blush I would have to say and I probably will really only use this very few times if I'm getting like really dressed up or something I'm gonna put my highlighter on which I layer this on top of 
on my blushes. So we're gonna, it really, this really helps like kind of just make sure, like it helps tone down blushes. So my blushes are never like too pigmented or anything. I don't know, it's very much of a pigmented blush. Whoa, a little definitely goes a long way because my skin is really, well, red. This side looks a lot better. Definitely a little goes a long way. <laughs> I will wear this tomorrow and no that's a little a little is definitely what we want honestly it feels like nothing is on my face right now very nice next up is the elf power grip primer now i heard the pink one has like this acid in it and stuff for like color correcting and i don't need that so i am going to research this before I use it, and again, if it the research goes good, then I will uh, show you me using it tomorrow. If not, my mom's gonna get this. It's a lot bigger than like it looks. Like I don't know how to show you. This is my hand. Okay, this is the Elf Power Grip Primer. I've really I've been wanting to try this for. I can't smell anything. It's very, like, kind of liquidy. And I heard this one isn't too sticky. I heard the pink one's a lot stickier. But I'm so excited to try this out tomorrow. I would try most of these products on, but I already have makeup on. And last, but certainly not least, and the whole reason I went to Target was to get new sunscreen. Right now, hold on. I will, I use this capital sunscreen it's just 22 dollars compared to 12 dollars and i think this might even be bigger i'm so excited i got the invisible one because uh your girl i i have my fair share of shiny products okay so this is definitely contains more product and how do you tell well because this cap is literally this is just the cap so, and then this is the product thingy. This is all the product. This is Invisible from their Sun Touchable line. They also have a glow one. Um, that's what I was meaning. But I use a lot of uh, products. I have enough glowy products. So, yes. Okay, I'm just going to use a little... Um, I probably will keep the box because I'm not out of that sunscreen yet. Whoa, this is really not wanting to come out. <laughs> Guys, it's not coming out. I also, I think this can also be used as a primer. Oh, I'm so stupid. There's a thing that's blocking it. <sighs> There's a thing. There's a thing. Ooh. It looks like a gel. I'm like actually now a little I'm only gonna use them on my hand because again I already have makeup on. It's like a gel, guys. Look at that, it's a gel. It kinda it's like not my favorite scent, but it's oh my gosh. Feels so good on my skin. I don't love the smell, but it so freaking good on my skin i am so i'm gonna use this tomorrow i'm using all my new products tomorrow um but all i am going to keep the box for this because because um it because I'm not done with my, sorry, I like blank. Like, I cannot close this box for the life of me. Mm. Um, but I'm going to be keeping this box because I'm not done with my other sunscreen yet. And then this box because I'm not done with my other primer yet. And I'm not 100% sure if, you know, this, this, this will work. But, yeah. Oh, and I'm keeping this box because I don't know if it's safe. 
for me? Okay. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. And, uh, have a nice day. Bye. Okay, so, just to let you guys know that the e.l.f. Um, makeup melting cleansing balm is completely safe for kids. I'll, I just looked up on the bottom. It says with hyaluronic acid, um, cream, semides, and peptides. I just looked up if those were safe for kids. Said yes. You can use the peptides to help with something. And then I, this has hyaluronic acid. Mainly hyaluronic acid. So both of these are fine. Just don't get the pink one. The pink one is infused with chemicals to, um, you know, like color correct your skin. And you don't need that when you're young. So I am going to research this a little more because I didn't research a ton on this one. But I am 100% sure that this is safe on my skin. So you guys can go out and buy yourself one. Um, yeah, but I'll see you guys later.